All right, Ashton. What are we doing here? Um, am I allowed to cuss? Uh, yeah, I mean, YouTube. Fixing this dumbass's car. <laughs> Cause he, he's like, dude, I gotta do mods. I gotta do mods. Maintain it first, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, we're doing time about water pump kit on this. Get gates. We didn't get gates because, well, buddy didn't have time to buy it. He needs a car fast and do an import direct from O'Reilly's. Import direct? It's okay. It's not bad. It's just, I, I don't know. I would just trust gates, you know. But anyways, so yeah, uh, looking at this tensioner. This and on both sides, um, there's also 60k overdue. <laughs> yeah, he jumped three and a half three teeth. teeth. So usually when you jump teeth in these cars, you're gonna show your motors, but I don't think he drove on it, so he should be fine. But we're gonna do it anyways, and he needs a car. You so think, you don't think he drove on it? That's an understatement. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, first things first, take out this timing cover right here. Second, you're gonna need something to hold up the engine. We got a little. Uh, two ton cherry picker we used in the Hyundai Tiburon video series. Fun stuff. Um, basically, on the 6U72 motor, this is the dual red cam non turbo. I have a lot of stuff knowledge because I've owned too many. So, Five. something like that. Anyways, you know, I'm on a lift, put one side of the lift over here. We used a, um, dude, we haven't slept in so long. A bowl and a nut, it's been and years. then. One of these. Last night we stayed up all night doing the Miata. Everything. That's another video. <laughs> That's another video I have yet to edit. <laughs> yeah, we so we started started on this car to take off the wheel and um well as you can see uh, his car <laughs> He's got two studs on a five lug. System. Yeah, so we're gonna put some new studs on there as well for buddy. And we're doing this for free. Don't we do love him so much. <laughs> don't do this for free guys all right so top timing cover comes off I'm just giving ashton stuff and he's gonna bag it and right on the sharpie so we stay organized uh motor mount gotta come off so you need a cherry picker here to hold the engine because this motor mounts in the way of the timing cover so we got three bolts here a bolt or two things on this side and then a, a two, bolt on this side two nuts and then this will pop off easily. And then the timing cover's gotta come off. Then we'll pull off that tensioner, take the belt off, water pump comes off. It's pretty simple, straightforward, just not for your average mechanic. Be uh, be aware of, be, I'm sorry. Like we, we haven't slept. I It's been 20, what time is it? If, if it's, it's seven o'clock. So I haven't slept in 23 hours. And he's been way behind the camera, was working on the Miata for 13 hours straight. Cars. Cars. <laughs> so. I want to jump my car. <laughs> be aware if we don't speak English well. As Ashton says it. So let's get right into it. I'll uh, take the top motor mount off. And then after that, we'll start on these lower timing covers. Uh, not timing cover, accessory belt covers. You got to take out the accessory belts and fun stuff. So yeah, start the motor mount, top timing cover right here. This one will come off easily until later, unless you have some Superman strength. Um, so yeah, motor mount, and get these accessory belts off, then some covers. Apparently, to get the motor mount off, I have to take the cruise control off. So, not off, but just, I guess, kind of off. I don't know. Uh, just kind of take her off and slide it on the right a little bit, and then it gives you access to that bolt, and then it's going to pull right off. All right, so now you're gonna wanna see, we took off these two covers here. Just like, I don't know, 10, 15 bolts. Um, so you, to, you gotta take out these accessory belts. First one's right here. You got to loosen this bolt, and then you got a tensioner, it's a manual tensioner. You got to loosen that and take the belt off. All right, so I'm kind of speed running through at this point, but um, first belt came off pretty easy. Loosen this bolt here and the tensioner, pull it down, it comes right off. Second belt will come off by loosening this bolt right here and then pushing this straight down with a uh, half inch breaker bar. And that's the second belt. Um, you also want to take this off though, this whole entire tensioner. Uh, and then we're going to try to get the hot rack valves are off. Alright, so after we need to go get a uh, tool, got that off. 
Um, <clears throat> my bands will bolt off. Get the top timing cover. There's two bolts for that. Now let's get the middle timing cover. Also take these two bolts out for this motor mount. There's two under it. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So get the timing covers off. All right, so after the timing covers off, you want to get this block for the motor mount off, and then take the tension off and the idler. Um, water pump but before you do all that make sure you do set your time marks if you haven't skipped timing our body skipped timing so we'll have to kind of do this our own way but yeah so make sure you always set the time marks first all right so the dot lined up like so on this side mark and mark all right so i'm both of this cruise i'm trying to cruise ac uh, wire as well. So we got the bolt down here. Working on getting this piece out, and then we got cam lockers here from 3sx.com to put in the cams and set the timing. There's also a bolt right here and right here at the bottom. Also, I'm bolting this and this, so we can move this out of the way to unbolt this uh, adder pulley for the serpent cam belt. All right. So what I did for lining up the time marks. Um, look at the bottom here, this little dot has to match the mark up there, so I'll get a flashlight and show you that. Alright, so there is all these bolts got to take off. I put them in the new, the hole for the new water pump, just so you don't get disorganized and then take this off. Pull those bolts exactly where they'd be on this side. Um, so yeah, time marks lined up, um, yeah, water pump's coming off, super easy stuff. Just time consuming, you know. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull this off. It's gonna drain everywhere. And uh, then we're gonna take the tensioner, uh, grenade pulley spring off, and either pull it off and start putting new parts on. Alright, so now we have this gasket in here to get it right here. Um, I'm gonna use a pick to get it off. Pretty simple. Just make sure you replace it because. You're in here this deep, why wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? Just gonna get under there and just pull it off. Nope. Not rich. Uh. Okay, give me a second. Alright, so decent amount did happen before we, uh, I'm sorry, after the last little clip here. So you gotta take your water pump off, split it in half well, after you take all the bolts out. Um, get your new gasket in between here. It's like this round one. Put this together bolt everything together um then we're gonna put the gasket on this side and we use some rtv sit against there pull everything up to a torque spec and we'll find that on a second time to do the time belt idler and tensioner uh tensioner is right there idler is right there pre bolt on pre basic all right so we uh timed everything properly and put the bell on left to right so through here under there um these are 46 foot-pounds of torque spec. I also put blue thread lock on the new tensioner bolts. Um, so you get this lined up, make sure the little smiley face is pointing upwards. Um, and she's a special tool to point it upward. It's hard to really explain how I did that. Um, basically, down here, just pull it upwards. Have someone down there tighten it and then pull the granite pulley and then tighten all these spec and then after you get everything timed perfectly you don't want to crank the engine by hand down here with the hemlock balancer bolt two times and check your timing each time to make sure it's all set so now we're going to start by putting um lower and then slowly upper timing covers on actually not upper but just lower timing cover back on actually we need to put this Motor mount, um, where does that go? Little piece that sticks out, uh, right, this is area, a little bracket in with the three things sticking out of the little studs. We have to put that in first. Start, oh, I just dropped my bolt. But, uh, start with these two down here, so it holds it up vertically, and then we'll move to this one and this one, I believe. Yes, this one right here, and then this one. All right, so there's a bolt here on top and a bolt right here, but this just has to go with the alternator, so we'll work on that. Um, 
Next is going to be going in the lower tummy cover. So, um, I have a situation here. Um, see, what's nice about this engine hoist, I can move this up or down a little bit. Micro adjustments to make sure I can get this in perfectly. Um, what worked last time is I did uh, raise it up a decent amount so it's sitting like this almost and just kind of slid it right in. All right, so time it covers in. I'm going to start screwing um, really all to here. Um, bracket as well as this uh, serpentine belt other pulley and then the, also the other serpentine belt tensioner pulley. All right, that went pretty easy. I slid this end um, I just put in the middle. This end in first, I'm sorry, last. So this side in first, and I just kind of tilted it backwards and then right in here, and that slid right in there. Um, We have our, I cut this in order, top three, middle three, and then the bottom. I had bottom two, steel one. So add these on, um, and then get our Serpentine belt, idler pulley, and tensioner pulley for pulley for the other part. All right, so we have that idler pulley torqued on. This tensioner pulley is not torqued on yet. And how my advancer we got torqued on as well. Um, next thing is we have our power steering tensioner. This is going to be next. So, bolt this down and get your power steering pump uh, belt. Alright, so we have massive thing that's in here. I'm back, boys. <laughs> so, we got the power steering um, tensioner on. Basically, what you want to do is put the belt on now. Um, so, get the harmonic balance on. And then, push it up until you, like, it's good to have a second person here. Just adjusting that. Um, and push up on it, and slowly tighten it until you can let go of it, you know? And you should have an eighth of an inch of play. All right, now we're getting this alternator bracket on, and then we're gonna put this uh, belt with the alternator and the uh, AC on it. All right, next, after getting your belt on, you're gonna lay this AC line back down. Got the bolts for in the baggie here. And, um... Also get these bolted back up as well. One right there and one right here. So next we're putting in a cruise control box here. And then we'll have to fill up the coolant. Alright, so I got the motor mounts all bolted in nice and tidy. Um, two bolts here. Bolt here. Three nuts here. Um, we also have power steering line way to connect these two plugs up here. Now it's time for the top tenant to cover. Before we install coolant, we're actually going to put in this plate right here, right here in the wheel well, and also covers a timing, a timing, I'm sorry, accessory belt. So I did not get as good of those videos I did in there, as I wanted to in the red stealth. So I got my stealth here, I'll show you uh, what we ended up doing after putting that motor on in the uh, bottom accessory belt cover down there. The rear timing cover on, you just slide it back there. Front timing cover on, slide it on. Um, then you gotta add a lot of coolant in there. It takes two gallons, 2.2 .2 gallons, I believe. I'd recommend getting the not mixed antifreeze. It's a little bit cheaper, but it's also a better method to mix it yourself with distilled water. Um, so, yeah, get distilled water. Oh, that sticker. Distilled water and antifreeze coolant. Mix it together, um, I get a big funnel, pour a cup of water, and then a cup of that coolant, a cup of water, a cup of coolant, until you fill up two gallons worth. I'd get one gallon of pure antifreeze coolant, not mixed, and once you get rid of all that, mixing it, fortunately, you'll be set. Um, you won't want to leave that open so you can burp it, so all the air bubbles out of the system get out. Um, and that start up, and you should be good to go. So, yeah, that's a video on how you turn a water pump on the 6G72. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you.